Hey there, Sam. Laravel 45 also allow us to customize the login logic. The first thing I want to show you is a way to modify the default login function provided by Laravel 45. To do that, we'll go to our 45 service provider and we'll call the authenticate using static method from the 45 class. Now this method allow us to override the default authentication logic provided by 45 and it accepts a callback function and a callback function receive an instance of the request as its argument. Now we are free to write any logic that we want inside this function. In order to log a user in, we simply need to return the user instance. And that means look up the user from our database and return the user model instance inside this function. And again, for most cases, you don't have to customize the authentication logic unless you're not happy with how Laravel does authentication out of the box. And now just for demonstration, I'll not return any user instance in this function. Instead, I'll just return a false and expect all the login attempt to fail. And now we'll go to Postman and send a login request to our app with the credentials of a valid user that we have registered in the last video. Let's click on send. And as suspected, it does not work. Now let's go back to our code. And this time I'll hard code the authentication logic to return a known user. So it doesn't matter what the credentials that the request has sent us, we will always log in with the user with ID number one. And now let's go back to Postman. I'll duplicate our login request. And this time I'll type in some gibberish credentials. Let's click on send again. And we're in. And that's how we can customize the login logic in Laravel 45. Again, what I'm doing here is just for demonstration only. Hard coding to log a user in is super dangerous, so do not do this at home. All right, let's move on. Sometimes we want to add a few extra steps before or after the user is authenticated. For example, if we detected that the user has logged in from a different device or from an unusual location, we might want to send an email to the user to warn about this unusual activity. Laravel 45 offers us another static method called authenticate through to handle this situation. And similar to authenticate using, this function also takes in a callback function that accepts a request instance as its argument. Now Laravel 45 requires us to return an array of classes inside this callback function. Each of these classes should be invocable, and that means each of the classes should implement the invoke magic method because Laravel will attempt to call each of these classes one by one from top to bottom. If you haven't heard about the invoke magic method in PHP, it simply means that making a class callable. And that means once we define this magic method, we can call a class just like a function. And this is the authentication pipeline provided by Laravel by default. You can customize it in any way you like, just make sure that every class that you put inside this array is invocable. I'll show you why I mean. I'll go ahead and create a dummy class inside our 45 action folder. And I'll define the invoke method inside this class. Now Laravel 45 will pass the request instance to all the classes inside the pipeline. So we'll get our invoke method to accept an instance of our request class as its first argument. And the second argument is a callback function for us to move on to the next class inside the pipeline which is very similar to the next argument inside Laravel middleware. We will need to call this next callback function in order for the pipeline to progress. Otherwise, our code will just stop. And just for demonstration, I'll dump something stupid in here and refuse to call the next callback function for now. And we'll go back to our 45 service provider and load our dummy dummy class inside the pipeline. If everything goes smoothly, our authentication process should stop at our dummy dummy class because we did not call the next callback function. Let's try it out. We will log out and log in again with the correct credential this time. And in the response, we see our string dump without any other information. And now let's go back to our code and we'll go back to our dummy dummy class. And this time we'll call the next callback function and pass in our request to the next class in the pipeline. And now just for demonstration, I'll put two dummy dummy classes inside our pipeline so that we'll see two sets of hey ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah inside our response. Let's go back to Postman and I'll try to log in again. 
And now this time we see two sets of hey yeah yeah yeah. And again one more time, if I go back to my dummy class and comment out the next function, go back to Postman, try to log in again, and we only see one hey yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so the next function is mandatory to code in order for us to progress inside the pipeline. Which in our case here, yeah, our pipeline stop on the first dummy dummy class because we didn't call the next function in our dummy dummy class and our pipeline is broken. All right, next, we can also customize the confirm password logic by calling the confirm password using static method from 45. Again, this static method will set a callback function that takes in a user argument and also the password input provided by the user. What we need to return inside this callback function is a boolean. We will return true if the password is confirmed correctly, otherwise false. The user argument is an instance of the current logged in user, and the password argument is what the user has provided inside the request. And it is entirely up to you on how would you verify these two information. And again, in most cases, you don't have to override this confirmed password logic. Just let Laravel 45 to do the work for you. All right, let's move on. We can also customize the views that Laravel 45 is sending out by using the following methods. This is extremely useful when you have enabled the views option in 45's config. In each of these callback functions, you just need to return the view to the corresponding page. However, this is not that relevant to a single page application or an API server. So we don't need these in the app that we are currently building. But feel free to play around with it if you are interested. It should be quite straightforward as the function name tells you exactly which view is it customizing. All right, it's a good time to stop here. I will see you again in the next video. Key takeaway for this lesson, we use the Fortify Authenticate using method to override the default login logic. The Authenticate through method allows us to customize the authentication pipeline. So in case if we want to add additional action in between the authentication pipeline, we can do so using this method. The confirm password using method provides us a way to customize the password confirmation logic. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.